These cones that you see here, except for this guy who's taking a break, have been hard at work these past two months eating up vegetation at different plots of land here at Iroquois Park. The hope is that what they eat can soon turn into this, a prairie. These 26 goats here in Summit Field have one job, and that's to eat. It's for research purposes in an effort to preserve biodiversity. Liz Winlock is with the Olmsted Parks Conservancy. You can see all of the bees and all of the butterflies. You can hear the insects. You can see the birds. This is a really valuable stopover place for migratory species. Winlock says Iroquois Park has a unique ecosystem, but is under constant threat from invasive plants. Thanks to a partnership with Kentucky State University and Capstone Farms, they're working together to assess three different strategies to best help with that. Parks, landowners, um, state conservation agencies, federal conservation agencies, this is of interest to the broad spectrum of folks doing any kind of land management, regardless of where they are. Those three strategies include using the goats, working with hand tools, and using heavy machinery, which is the most expensive. The data will then be collected and analyzed over time to see which option works best for that entity. That's really what it's about, is to really put these systems next to each other. And so to give folks an actual, like a realistic, data-driven choice of what they could be working with. And by the sounds of it, these goats are getting the job done here at Summit Field. I've been really pleased with the results because I'm able to see how hard they've worked. I'm able to see which species they've eaten. I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.